Candles and essential oils are two popular options for fragrances for your home, even amongst pet parents. But did you realize that many of these scents can actually be poisonous and cause a lot of adverse reactions to your animals? Let's get right into this. Most people enjoy pleasant scents, especially if there are many pets in the house. But did you know that some household items, including scented candles, incense, essential oils and diffusers can be harmful to your pets? It is real. Some scents can affect your animals in a variety of ways. The good news is that once you know which scents are safe for your pets and which ones to avoid, you can still use a lot of them. What effects can scents have on your cats and dogs? Everything contains essential oils in different scents. Including in this are candles, air fresheners, diffusers, cleaning supplies, drink flavoring, perfumes, personal care items, liquid potpourri. Additionally, a lot of pet owners don't know that some scents are toxic to animals until they've made the dreadful trip to the vet with the sick animal. Due to a substance called phenols, Essential oils can make our pets ill. Containing high concentrations of phenols, which are naturally present in plants, these substances are conveniently absorbed through the nose, mouth and skin. Delivering humans breaks down the phenols, reducing their toxicity. However, due to their lower levels of liver enzymes, cats are especially vulnerable. As a result, they are unable to metabolize all of these various chemicals as effectively as we can. Additionally, after coming into contact with our animal, these oils and scents can burn its skin and mouth. If your cat, for example, has an essential oil poisoning, they will be showing certain signs such as pawing at their eyes or mouth, redness of their lips, tongue or skin, vomiting, lethargy, weakness, difficulty breathing, fragrance on their breath or skin, muscle tremors, drooling, loss of balance, watery nose and eyes and so on and so on. So your cat may have been poisoned if it exhibits any of these signs. In that case, you should probably call your veterinarian and make an appointment with them as soon as possible to give their pet an emergency care. Even though cats are a little bit more sensitive, our dogs can be impacted by the essential oils and liquid potpourri as well. These oils can occasionally cause behavioral issues and changes in our dogs. Some scents start to have negative effects on the respiratory system and the central nervous system. And uh, actually, particularly tea tree oil, which is one of my favorite essential oils, can be harmful to our dog's digestive system and if it comes into their mouth. But you know, mistakes happen and in that case as well, a quick call to your veterinarian would be probably a good idea. So specifically, which scents might be harmful to our pets? It is still possible to enjoy nice smelling oils and different fragrances as long as we select the ones that won't hurt our animals and to use with care and not leave the aromas on for the entire day. Here's a list of the toxic scents and essential oils that you should definitely avoid. Tea tree, clove, citrus, cinnamon, ylang ylang, pine, eucalyptus, wintergreen, Penny Royale. And here's a list of the scents that are actually okay for your dogs and cats. Dogs are okay with mirth, frankincense, chamomile, peppermint, lavender, ginger, and rosemary. And the essential oils for cats include frankincense, lavender, copaiba, helichrysum, and chamomile. Now, you don't have to stop using your favorite scents just because you have pets. Simply conduct some research and consult with your vet to make sure that your animals won't get sick. But again, you should definitely take your pet to the veterinarian as soon as possible if they ever exhibit symptoms, as I mentioned before, that might indicate poisoning. What do you think? Have you had pets that had allergic reactions or any type of other problems with your scents? Or did you have to make specific purchasing decisions based on your animals? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.